Hi, and welcome to today's episode of Piano TV. So we're doing a Q&A today, and the question that I was asked and wanted to answer is the question of how much time should I be spending on non-method book music? So we'll, let's just get right into that. Today's question comes from one of our Patreon supporters, Fred Jones, who asks, your opinion on using outside songs with workbooks. For example, I'm using Alfred's Basic Adult Piano Course Number 1 as my workbook, and I also bought the Level 1 Christmas music because the songs seemed like they'd be fun to work on as winter approaches. How much time should be spent on specific songs versus progressing through a workbook? So before I actually answer your question, I want to talk about how long it takes to get through me method books in general, because I think that'll help give some perspective to this question as well. So for example, I always have a timeline in mind when I'm teaching kids, adults too, but I'm using the example of kids. So for kids, it's usually a couple years of what I call musical kindergarten before they reach um, grade one level and musical kindergarten for kids is four method books and it's two method books for adults so the amount of time it takes a kid to get through this kind of musical kindergarten period depends largely on how much they practice how old they are what their kind of starting technical abilities are and so on i like to follow a similar trajectory for adults most committed adults can get through musical kindergarten in about a year. Using some popular method books as examples, this means that you get through the two adult Alfred books in a year total, or the two piano adventures adult books in a year as well, usually about six months per book. In the real world, it's rarely that cut and dry. Like, I don't know that I've ever seen anyone like finish a book exactly in six months. Like maybe they're really motivated for the first book and we get through in four months, and then maybe life gets in the way for the second book and we finish it in eight months. But in general, like this is just to kind of give you an idea. So after about a year or so of these method books, you can then move into the next method book. So if you're doing Piano Adventures, the next one is 3A. You just kind of move into the main series and I think it goes up to level five, like 3A, 3B, 4A, 4B, 5, something like that. And Alfred is super, super similar. Another thing you can do after you finish the adult method books is you can move on to the RCM grade one books or the ABRSM books if that's the system that you like to use. Okay, so that answers the question of how long I typically like to spend in the uh, method books, but it's almost never an exclusive thing. And now I'm actually getting to the point of addressing your question. So usually what we'll do, not usually, always with my students, especially the adult ones, we will have supplemental books on the side in addition to their in addition to their method books. Or even if they don't have supplemental books, I'll give them supplemental pieces. This is a really, really important thing to do because the method books are awesome, like they give guidance and structure to lessons and to learning, but they're not usually the kind of pieces that are really exciting and thrilling to play that what I would consider show-off pieces, you know, like the kind of pieces that you go over to your friend's house and you're like, hey, look at what I can do. Um, they're more of like the kind of like weekly pieces, whereas supplemental music can be a little bit more interesting and a little bit more challenging and thus more fun to play for other people to show off with or to just kind of have in your repertoire. Generally, I would recommend having at most one to two other pieces on the go while you are working through a method book. Any more than this and it kind of tips the balance too far and um, you might like stop moving through your method book as much because you'll be spending all of your time on the supplemental pieces. So a method book piece might take you a week or two to learn, but the stuff that you learn on the side, the supplemental pieces, usually I find take about a month to learn. So um, they rotate less, they rotate more slowly than the, the lesson book pieces, which have a a higher turnover. So on a weekly basis, it might look something like this. Uh, work on the first method book piece, maybe a second method book piece, and then a third supplemental piece. And then the next week, you would move on to learn one or two method book pieces that are new, but you'd keep the same supplemental piece around a while longer. Now, as far as how much time to spend on supplemental pieces versus the method book stuff, which is really getting to the heart of your question, I think, I would go anywhere from like a half and half ratio to two thirds method, one third supplemental. So your weekly playing might look something like this. 
20 minutes on two method book pieces, kind of divided evenly, maybe 10 minutes each, and then 20 to 30-ish minutes on a supplemental piece. This is just a general guideline, but it's more or less what I would recommend for my own students that I teach in real life. Not that you're not real life, but you're not in my physically in my studio. The one caveat, and I kind of touched on this earlier, is you want to watch that the supplemental pieces don't start to overshadow the method book stuff because they can be like more fun and you might find that you're starting to spend more and more time on them and then the method book gets neglected. But the method book is really important because it's what's coaching you through all of these essential skills that you need in order to play these supplemental pieces really, really well. So just watch that you're not going overboard. There are a few exceptions. Like one thing that generally happens in my studio is when we have a big performance coming up, like a recital, like the Christmas concert or music festival, is um, we kind of abandon the method book for the last couple weeks in prep because we just want to spend so much time getting those pieces really, really polished. So in like the two weeks leading up to the Christmas concert, we'll be working almost exclusively on those Christmas pieces. But that kind of like really single-minded focus isn't for long periods of time. So you can be flexible with it. Like if certain things come up in your own life, like Christmas time and maybe you're learning from a Christmas book and you wanna be able to play Christmas music either for yourself or for your family, then sure, maybe spend like a few weeks where you're working almost exclusively on the Christmas music, but make sure to go back to the method books and, and find your balance. And that is all for today's Q and A video. As always, if you have a question of your own, leave it in the comments below and I will take a look at it and maybe address it in the next Q&A video we do. And I'm not entirely sure when that's gonna be. Um, my guess would be a couple weeks, but I'll generally favor the more highly rated questions over you know the ones that kind of get lost into nothingness because to me that shows that they're more popular. But um, please ask like whatever whatever's on your mind and maybe we'll get to it next time. Anyway, catch you in the next video. I like to follow a, a s <clears throat> or and or the two, not and or.